my week one update of my time here in Phoenix and uh, I'm a little bit late on the first video but uh, this this first week has been jam-packed already we've been doing a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff and so uh, I'm a little bit late but I got in on Sunday last Sunday uh, around noon kind of got settled in to the house and got my stuff underway kind of got prepared for the first week and then on Monday we dove right in. We had a video shoot first thing Monday morning. Uh, on Monday we mainly shot B-roll. Uh, we came actually out here to Papago Park to shoot B-roll, climbed some rocks and different stuff like that and got some really cool shots. Um, went to a couple more places and just mainly just grabbed our B-roll. And then on Tuesday we dove into the interview portion of, of the first shoot. Learned a lot in the, in the first two days. Um, just about camera functions and, and really just mainly lighting and audio for interviews and, and how to set up two cameras and sync the audio and everything. So the first two days we were on location actually doing the production. We got back to the office on Wednesday and I immediately dove into to post production. So I started on data management which was basically compressing all the footage that we got and organizing it in folders and getting it renamed so it's easier to find uh, whenever it goes in to the editor's hands. Then I started milling through our interview footage. I took out the trash and grabbed the gold, as they call it, and so went into Adobe Premiere, started making cuts, and started really getting my hands on the footage there, and learning, slowly but surely learning uh, the different aspects and everything of video production. So Wednesday night, I went and saw my first NBA game, the Phoenix Suns versus the LA Clippers, which was super awesome. Uh, being in person at a at any sporting event is it totally changes it. So it was a lot more interactive, and there was a lot of cool stuff. Sadly, the Suns lost, but it was a cool game and uh, very exciting, even down to the wire. We were in the office some more on Thursday and Friday, and kind of finished up my work with with milling through those interviews, and then set into the weekend. So on Saturday, we got up and worked in the yard a little bit, did some uh, southwest gardening, which deals mainly with a lot of plants that can poke you or stab you. I've actually got a cactus needle in my thumb. <laughs> I still haven't got it out. So whenever I move my thumb a certain way, it kind of sticks, but you know, it's part of it. So we did that and then um, finished up the weekend, got nice and relaxed and dove right into today. So it's weird adjusting to life in the Southwest. Well, it's not weird. It's just different than what I'm used to. I'm used to, you know, being outside in February. Typically in the Midwest and the South, you're going to be wearing a coat, not, you know, short sleeves. And it'd be sunny and 75. But uh, I'm liking that change. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to, and I like it. Um, there's a lot of great food out here. Stuff that you can't really get anywhere else. Uh, I've been hitting up all the burger stands, uh, Whataburger, In-N-Out, you name it. So that's been kind of cool to get to try foods that are not what we can normally get in uh, Tennessee. So yeah, I've started working on, on my own projects, this being one of them. And uh, right now I'm shooting off the Canon C100 camera and uh, got some pretty awesome shots of this beautiful park with this camera. Relatively easy camera to learn on, uh, but it has amazing quality as you can see. I can't explain how refreshing it is to finally be pursuing a dream of mine, but to be 19 and finally be settling into doing something that I love is so rewarding. Because uh, I know that there's a lot of people that it takes a very long time to achieve their dreams or a lot of people never achieve their dreams. If there's one thing I want to share, the only thing that's holding you back from pursuing your dreams is yourself. There's been times in my life, especially more recently, that I, I kept wondering, you know, why am I stuck in a rut or why am I doing the same thing over and over again? And then it kind of took, you know, it just clicked. Like, I don't have to be stuck in this rut to step out of the rut and go on your own path. You're in control of what you want to do. If you love what you do,
then that's all that matters. To be here finally, it, it's it's starting to set in. It's starting to set in that that dreams can become reality no matter how big they are. Now this may not be a crazy, you know, big, huge dream of mine to move to Phoenix, but it, it's a step in the right direction. And that's that's all it takes is that first step, that leap of faith to get out of your comfort zone because this is definitely out of my comfort zone. I've never been more than 200 miles away from my family at any given time. But now to be a time zone and 1,500 miles away from my family, that's out of my comfort zone, believe me. But it's, it's that leap of faith that's going, all right, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna start stepping towards our dream, you gotta take the first step, you gotta take the first action. And so this is me taking my first action towards my ultimate dream.